welcome back to my channel. I am here today to do a very short video on one single brush. And the reason that I wanted to feature this brush is because I've been using it in my kit for quite a while now. And honestly, I kept going back to buy more until now I have like four of them in my kit. And I was like, you know what? I use this for so much stuff on my clients that I really need to make a separate video on it because it is so versatile. It is relatively inexpensive for the amount of things that you can do with the brush. So I really wanted to make a whole video on it. I didn't want to like feature it in my favorite face brushes or my favorite eye brushes because it deserves a feature of its own. And I would honestly have too much to say about this one brush to put it in with other brushes. And then the video would be like 45 minutes long. So I am talking about the Cinna Cosmetics Feather 15 brush. Okay, so this is it right here. That's how long it is. Cinna Cosmetics, I've talked about before. I've talked about their cream blushes. I have their brow palette. I absolutely love Cinna Cosmetics. Honestly, I'm building up my collection from them slowly but surely because I want to end up trying everything from them. I have a few different other brushes from their line and I've never been disappointed with anything I've gotten so far. But this one just is a standout for me and I'm gonna tell you why. What I've decided to do is kind of take you through step by step how I use this. I use this brush for four different things on my clients and I wanted to kind of show you how I use it for every step. So I'm going to kind of slide right into that demo. It's a different day. I have different makeup and using different stuff, but I'll slide right over to that demo. I'll show you the four ways and then I'll be right back. I think I already filmed this part <laughs> without filming it. Um, this is great for transition or crease colors. So you pick up the color and you are just going to feather it in your crease. It's absolutely perfect. It applies it exactly like you want to apply it. Sometimes when I use other brushes, I have to go back in with another like brush with no product to kind of like buff out any harsh edges in my crease color. This brush, you do not have to do that at all. It buffs any edges out as you apply the crease color. And really it's just, I mean, the name implies it is feather blending magic when it comes to crease colors. It's also really great to apply color all over the lid and into the crease, but today I'm just going to use it in the crease. This is also the perfect size and density, in my opinion, to set your under eyes. If it it's right in your socket to where you really don't have to go over it, but once or twice with the powder, and it's not so dense that it's going to deposit like a ton of powder, but it's dense enough to where, like I said, you don't have to go over it like four times to get actual product on your under eyes and I don't feel like much stays in the bristles. So that's wonderful too. So that's another way I love to use this brush. Now at this point in time, if you are a contour person, you could totally use this brush for contour. I know it looks super small, but again, it's where the feathering aspect comes in. So you would put a little, I don't really contour, so I'm not gonna do it. And I don't even have contour products upstairs. They're in my kit, but, um, you put some product on the brush and you start back here and you see how I'm like going like this. It's kind of like you're working in your crease, but you're doing it under your cheekbone. It will feather out the most beautiful, perfect contour. And if you do the contour first and then go over it with the bronzer with like a bronzing brush, honestly, it's perfection. Another great way. To use. And finally, I love this brush to highlight. So I'm going to take a little bit of the highlighter I'm using today, put it on the brush, tap it off and sweep across my cheek. I don't know what it is, but fluffier brushes, especially like quote unquote eye brushes, just, oh, and the reason I like this so much is that if you've noticed, I don't, you may not, but I've gone into the pan a couple times, which, you know, some people might think that's too big of a, like a pain to do, but honestly, that means that you can build this up and that even if you're using a really intense highlight, which this is, this is the Jouer Citrine, that even if you're using a really intense highlight, it doesn't matter upon first application. It's not going to be that, ten that intense because this is such a perfectly fluffed brush. So it really, it just applies it perfectly and it's the great, it's a great size to go on your cupid's bow and on your nose if you prefer to do that. So honestly, 
very, very multifunction. Okay, so hopefully that kind of showcased quickly how I like to use this feather brush. Now, before I leave, I'm gonna tell you, I didn't tell you in the intro, this is a $20 brush. Um, I just looked it up and I guess it's so popular that you can't really find it that many places, but the original place I got it, which was Nigel's Beauty Emporium, nigelbeauty.com, I will link all the places that I can find down below. It's still available there. It's available on lovelyskin.com right now for 20% off. Um, by the time I put this up, I don't know what it's gonna be, but anyways, $20 for all those four things that I just showed you, I think is a steal. Now, granted, you're probably gonna say, well, I don't wanna go straight from my crease color to my highlight and then to my contour and then to set my under eye powder. No, you won't. So you're gonna either wanna use one of the brush cleaners, one of these like Veramona things that you can take it off, or you can simply use a act, an actual bl brush cleaner, blah, 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 blah. I use the Cinema Secrets one in my kit and it's fast drying and it gets the color off and you're automatically set up to go on to your next step without any product left on the brush. So, you know, it still is a time saver and a money saver because you're not reaching for all this stuff, even when you're having to do that step in between. So I'm going to leave you with this. A lot of people are going to be like, this is just a domed crease brush. This is, there's nothing special about this. Well, I mean, yeah, you can find a ton of crease brushes that you're, you know, able to set your under eyes with, use as a crease brush, use as a contour brush, and use for highlight. I'm not saying that you can't. All I am saying is that there's something about this brush that makes it special, that makes it better. And one of the reasons is that I have, honestly, I cannot tell you how many times I've washed this brush. Um, and a lot of the issues I have with crease brushes is that the more I wash them, the more feathered out, no pun intended, that the bristles actually get, making it harder to use as a specific crease brush. Now, if these feathered out a lot more, I wouldn't be able to use it as well in the crease. It wouldn't be as defined. Um, my highlight might get to places that I don't want it. You know, I might set a little bit too much under my under eyes, creating too much powder. It's just, it's never fun when a brush loses its shape from getting washed too many times. There are some weeks where I will wash my brushes five to six times in the week. Um, this has never done me wrong. It's never gotten out of its shape. It keeps that wonderful shape, it keeps the wonderful softness, and it keeps the wonderful efficiency that the feather brush is. That's probably my main reason I love it. That and the fact that it's soft and the fact that it just really performs beautifully. So I just wanted to come on here and make a quick video because I thought it deserved some screen time on YouTube because this is such a beautiful brush. So I, again, I will link all the places that you can get Senna Cosmetics down below, or at least this brush. You can get Senna a lot of other places, but I just can't find this brush everywhere. I'll link it down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this type of video, a little impromptu, come on and tell you about some of my absolute favorite things all by themselves in their own video. If you haven't subscribed, be sure and do so so you don't miss out on any future videos. I really appreciate you watching, and as always, I hope you all have a very blessed day.